High Inquisitor Sally Whiteman is an old school Warcraft character who initially was a simple dungeon boss with no big impact on the overworld story. However, she quickly became a fan favorite character because of reasons. I am not completely sure why, but it is what it is. She later became one of the four horsemen and even became a character in Heroes of a Storm. Her appearance might not be completely recreatable, but I think I got pretty close. Let's check it out. <laughs> this is pretty much the closest I could get to recreate the actual appearance of Sally Whiteman. There are some minor issues like the tablet like appearance of her chest piece being switched with a fitting belt, her headpiece missing since you wouldn't see her hair underneath it, and also the chest piece is not available as in her actual model, but besides that, I'm pretty happy. So let's take a look on how to obtain all these items. If you like, you can use Whiteman's embroidered chapeau as a helmet, it drops from High Inquisitor Whiteman herself in the Scarlet Monastery on normal difficulty, the issue is that we are not seeing her hair underneath it. Which is why I personally decided to leave a helmet slot free. For the shoulder plates, we take either the Starfire Mantle or the Shroud of the Nathrezim. There are more items that share this appearance, but those two are the easiest to get. The Starfire Mantle is a world drop in early Burning Crusade zones like the Hellfire Peninsula and might be available on the auction house. If that's not the case, you should go for the Shroud of the Nathrezim, which draws from Balnazar, the final boss of the main entrance of Stratholm. Balnazar can also drop the Fire Striders, which are used as a boots. Alternatively, you can also simply buy the Inferno Weave boots in Shatrath in Outland. Then we have the Cinecloth vest and the Cinecloth pants. Both can be created by players with a tailoring profession and might be purchasable from the auction house. The gloves we use are the gloves of the High Magus, which are the reward of a short questline in Shadowmoon Valley in Outland. It starts with a quest Besieged and ends with News of Victory. As a Horde player, you can accept this quest at Bloodguard Gulmog in Shadowmoon Village and as an alliance player, it starts at Wing Commander Nuain in Wildhammer's Stronghold. The questline takes about half an hour to finish and is pretty straightforward. For the Wrist, you want to take the Earthmander's Bracers of Shadowing, which is a reward for another quest in Shadowmoon Valley. To find this quest, you want to head to the north to this cave. At the end of the cave, you will find this NPC who is being held captive. Upon killing the Keeper of Assistant, you free her and can start an escort quest. A long and annoying escort quest but it rewards you with your braces. For the belt, I decided to use the Sash of Silent Sonata on Mythic Difficulty. It's a draw from Dos Igne the Fallen Oracle in the Sepulchre of the First One's Raid in the Mortals in the Shadowlands. As a weapon, you should go with a Burnished Warden stuff. It's the stuff she used back in Vanilla WoW, and it got changed to Benediction in the revamp during Pandaria, but since Benediction is no longer available and pretty much every image you find of Wildman shows her with a Warden stuff, I think it's a right choice to take that one instead. This stuff is one of the heirloom weapons and can be bought for a pretty low price in either Orguma or Ironforge. And last but not least, you should get the Neophyte shirt. This item once was a starting shirt for multiple races and is now purchasable by Thomas Jans, the traveling salesman in the old Hillsbred Foothills dungeon. He is wandering around between South Shore and Tower Mill. Little fun fact, in this dungeon you can also find Sally Whiteman as a child playing with other future members of the Scarlet Crusade. And she kills frogs. That's not important, but I wanted to mention it. She has been a weird little girl since back then. Optionally, you could also use the Amber Curl Sorry Gloves, which sometimes are available at the trading post for 100 Trader Standards. They are also really fitting, and if you got them already, it could save you some annoying questing and traveling for the gloves, braces, and shirt. Also, there are some fitting customization options, like this red necklace I'm using. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also check out my other iconic Transmog sets. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, see ya!